Hello everyone and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. Before we start today's lesson, I just want to congratulate everyone who has been with us since the start of our new beginner series. So that's where we started a couple months ago and then we move on to the new beginner series 2. And now we're going to move on to our beginner series. So you all have moved up a level from new beginners to beginners. For new beginners who are new to Roblox building, I still recommend you start with the New Beginner Series and then move on to the New Beginner Series 2 before you move on to the Beginner Series because Beginner Series are for people with some experience in building Roblox. With that, let's move on to our lesson for today. Today we're going to learn about C-frames in Roblox. In Roblox, every part has a position and an orientation property. If I move my part, you see the position moves, and if I rotate my part, you can see the orientation property changes. You can use C-frame to change both the position and orientation property of a part. Let's now go to our view menu tab. We're going to open up the command bar. You can see my command bar at the bottom here. Now if I want to use C-frame to change the position of my red box here, I'm going to say game dot workspace dot red box so I'm just referencing to my red box dot C frame I will set that equals to C frame dot new so basically you're using C frame dot new to set a new position for your C frame and here I'm not passing in any parameter so the default is going to be all zeros. So if I hit enter now, it's going to reset everything here, my position to all zeros. Let's take a look. You see the position of the red box has been changed to all zero. And you may also notice that the orientation has been changed to all zeros. The reason for that is because we're only specifying a new position for my part, but we're not specifying the new rotation for the part. So that's why it got reset to all zeros as well. Instead of setting everything to zero, I can specify a new position for my part. For example, 10 comma 20 comma minus 10. Hit enter. And you can see my part has been moved to position 10, 20 minus 10. Again, the orientation is all zeros because we're not specifying the angle for my part. The C frame dot new only specify the new position for the part. Another way to specify a new position for the part is to use a vector three in here as opposed to having this, these three numbers. So let me go over here and I'm going to declare a vector three, so local. I'll just call it V3 for vector three equals to vector three dot new. And then I'll put in the numbers in here, for example, 20, comma, 30, comma, 10. And then in, instead of these three numbers in here, I'm going to replace them with a vector 3, which is my V3 variable that I've declared over here. Let's now hit enter. And I expect this position here to change to 20, 30, and 10. Let's take a look. And there it goes, 20, 30, 10. Again, orientation is all zero. To offset the current position of a part, uh, for example, right now, let, let me just remove my vector three here. So for example, my current position of the part right now is 20, 30, 10. If I wanna offset that by minus 10 for each of those components, I can do this. I can say game dot workspace dot red box dot C frame equals to C frame dot new. And I'm going to give it the current position of my red box, which is game dot workspace dot red box 
dot position. This is going to give me the current position of the red box. Now I'm going to offset it by negative 10 in each direction. So I'm going to say plus a vector 3 dot new and I'm going to give it minus 10 in each direction. Minus 10, comma, minus 10, comma, minus 10. So once I, I hit enter, I expect to see the position to be 10, 20, and 0. Let's take a look. And there it is. The position has been changed to 10, 20, 0. CFrame.new is going to give you a new position. On the other hand, if you want to change the angle of the box, for example, my box right now has no angle. Everything is zero for the orientation. If I want to change the orientation property of this box, I'm going to use cframe.angles. So let's go here and we're going to change this to cframe.angles. Just keep in mind here that the orientation property, these numbers are in degrees. So there's 360 degrees to make a full circle. And 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. To use C-frame angles, you need to use radians, not degrees. So if you are more familiar with degrees, you can use a conversion, math.rat. So, um, so to change my angle here, I'm, I'm going to change the, the Y angle. I'm going to specify 0 for the X angle. And for the Y angle, I want it to be 90 degrees. So to make it 90 degrees, I'm going to use math.rad for radian. And then I just put 90 in here. So this is going to convert 90 degrees to radians. My final parameter here is for the Z angle. So I'm just going to leave that as zero. So the only angle that I'm going to change is the, the Y angle. And I'm going to make it 90 degrees. Again, look over here. We have all zeros. But if I go and hit enter now, you can see the orientation property has been changed to 0, 90, 0. One thing to keep in mind here, since we're, we're changing the angle of the C-frame, but we're not specifying the position, so our position got reset to zero here. Next, I just want to show you how all this work inside a script. So let's go to service script service and we're going to add a script. Just enter the following lines. And again, everything that we did inside the command bar, you can put them directly into the script. What I have here is I'm declaring my red box up here. And then I'm waiting for 10 seconds. Then I have a for loop that goes from 1 to 100. For each iteration, it's going to get the current position of the box. And it's going to add 1 to each of those components. And it's going to do this for 100 times. And then it's going to wait for 3 seconds. Then it's going to start the rotation. For my rotation, basically I'm starting at 10 degrees. And I'm converting that 10 degrees to radians using math.radian. And each iteration is going to increase the angle by 10 degrees until it reaches 360 degrees, which is a full circle. All right, let's play and take a look. You may have seen something similar in our prior two tutorials. But in this tutorial, we're doing it using C frame. So we're starting at position 0, 0, 0. And the box is going to start to move. There it goes. It's going to go 100 steps. And then it's going to come back. It's going to come back to position 0, 0, 0. Because once we start to rotate, it resets the position to 0, 0, 0. And there it is. It has come back to position 0, 0, 0 when, it rotate, when, when it's rotating. Okay, everyone, those are the basics on C-frames in Roblox. Join us again in our next tutorial for much more on C-frames.
thank you all for watching and we will see you then take care